you are a superstar in the kannada film kannada telugu tamil malayalam and the hindi film industry which do you which industry do you call home how about all about all but any any favorites no actually it's a i can't actually call any particular industry my favorite because i started off my career in the tamil industry in 2002 then i went to malayalam then i went to telugu then i went to kannada and then now that's what hindi is hindi is uh, sort of also accepting me with open arms so i can say all all right i'll get to that uh you were born and raised in bengaluru you worked as a model in namma city for quite a few uh months or years but it took you nearly six long years to enter the kannada film industry after you became a star in the other industries what took you so long to come to uh, the kannada film industry see honestly i was um i had shoot in other uh, languages as well i had movies in other languages as well uh so probably that was one of the that was the only main reason that i could not commit to a uh, kannada film immediately though being born and raised in bangalore um uh, as i told you i started out my industry my I started my career in kannada i'm sorry in tamil so i had a lot of tamil films at that time then i was doing telugu also at that time malayalam also so i could not allot my dates to uh, uh the the said kannada films that came my way but uh, i think it was destined that i sort of debuted um uh, in the kannada industry with uh, the fabulous movie called ram which starred the late meet rajkumar so i think that was desi yeah. uh, you and punith rajkumar became a super hit combination soon after ram uh, but after that you just acted in one film with him which was also a super hit uh, why why don't we see more of your combinations I think this is a question you as a director it's not me I mean I would have loved to work with um uh, Puneet more but um uh, I don't know I guess Anna Bond and Ram and Anna Bond were what was written for us and uh, I'm glad that that happened Now that we're talking about Puneet Rajkumar I must ask you I've seen some of your interviews with him uh, some videos on the internet you both kind of had a very good bonding you know you shared a good yeah. rapport Uh, can you share yeah. some fond memories of him while shooting for those two films or outside of that i think uh it's obviously my association with puneet uh, and the family i think goes much before ram happened um i was called in for another film i'm not sure which one actually uh for which i had met raganna and uh, i even saw puneet in the office and uh, but owing to another film shoot film uh, shoot of mine i could not commit to that particular film i don't remember which one it was and as i said uh, i think ram was destined for us uh, that you know we were to act together and all that um but one thing i'm really happy that i got to work with him in ram and anna bond and i think he is one of he was one of the uh you know you say you know the 916 hallmark gold uh he's that sort of a person he was i don't know why i'm still talking as if he's still present i mean obviously he's there in all our hearts even now uh his infectious smile whenever you talk about to me the first thing you think about is his infectious smile which just spreads um and you can't do anything else but laugh with him um and he's such a sweet character he's such a sweet guy i remember it when we shooting for um um one of the songs of ram and uh, which also had a bit of a scene i think before the song and it was sort of set up in a forest area sort of a thing and um, there was only one manatee um, so i had to get ready in the uh, hotel and come in my room uh, my mother was also there with me and he had the vanity for himself um so i went to him and i requested him i said puneet is it okay if, if you know uh, my mother and i we could use your vanity just to probably use the washroom um and nothing else and if there is a dress change you know and just change the dress i'll come back i'll come outside sit and you know i will do the uh, touch up and makeup or whatever is needed if there is a dress change so he said yeah yeah okay and the next thing i remember within 5 minutes he came out of the vanity 
he sent word with his staff and his staff came to me and said you know from now on your mother and you can use the vanity sir doesn't need the van i said no no please let it not be i mean you know the van is you know it is for him and you know it's not fair if i use the van if it is for him and then uh, i think he overheard the conversation and he came to me and he said you know what your mother is like my mother i wouldn't want my mother to sit outside in the scorching sun or cold or whatever the weather was i don't want her to sit outside and you know um just sweat and things like that rather she can sit in the vanity and let her enjoy i mean she can enjoy the ac and just be herself she can relax she can lie down she can rest up she can put her feet up and relax i mean the superstar does that i mean it's no need for anybody to even say or think anything like that i mean as that's why i said i mean his character spoke a lot to me during that time and then um i think after that the the amount of respect and the amount of love that he showed towards my mother uh you know was so sweet because every time he used to see her he used to go to her he used to hug her and say hi aunty how are you and uh you know it's so nice to have you on set and uh you know it was really nice and not only him i think entire family is also very sweet i know i uh ragana is also da- very 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 sweet uh every time i mean i remember when i went to meet uh them uh, to pass on my condolences uh, at their house i went to meet ashwini at her place ragana was also there and uh, so it was my mother my husband and myself and um, ragana was sitting with us all the long and even till today he keeps sending me messages in the morning like good morning amma how are you and um and then shivarna came in later and he passed on our condolences and yeah so i think puneet was and will always be remembered for the fantastic soul that he was did you get to watch ganana gori no cuz i wasn't in town actually ashwini gave me a call personally and she said i want you to come and uh, you know film bangalore please do come um but unfortunately i wasn't so i couldn't see but i will definitely watch subscribe to the federal's youtube page for more news and updates